Hey, reader friends. Our next choice is a nonfiction book. That means it's a book about true facts, and it's called I Want to Be a Doctor. The author's name is Laura Driscoll, and the illustrator's name is Catalina Echeverry. Let's begin. This book was published by Harper Collins Publishers. We are at the hospital. My mom and dad, my brother, Jack, and me. Jack is not happy. His foot hurts a lot. Let's see. It says they're in the hospital. Emergency registration. They're in the emergency room or the ER. I saw the whole thing. Jack flew off the top bunk. Maybe he forgot he can't fly. Dad put ice on Jack's foot. His foot is black and blue. Mom thinks it could be broken. Oh, poor Jack. That's bad. So here we are in the emergency room. It is a busy place. Some people are hurt. Some are sick. It is a good thing doctors are here to help. Mm, this guy's got a, looks like a black eye. His head's got a bandage on it. This guy's tummy hurts. Oh, this lady has a sick baby. Let's see. I like to help people too, I tell the doctor. Her name is Dr. Tate. Maybe you will be a doctor someday, she says. Dr. Tate looks at Jack's foot. She touches it gently. Let's take an x-ray, she says. It will show us if any bones are broken. We go to another part of the hospital. An x-ray machine takes a picture of Jack's foot. A man comes to look at the x-ray. Are you a doctor too? I ask. Yes, he says. I am Dr. Dean. I read x-rays. Did you know there's a special kind of doctor who works with x-rays? Interesting. The doctor sees a small break in one of Jack's bones. So next, we go see Dr. Jones, a bone doctor. There are doctors just for the bones, I ask. Yes, Dr. Jones says, just like there are heart doctors, brain doctors, and skin doctors. Who did you see to get those glasses, Dr. Jones asks. The eye doctor, I say. And what do you call your tooth doctor? Dr. Jones asks. The dentist, I say. And who do you see for checkups? He asks. My regular doctor, I say. Oh, I get it. She's a kid doctor. Mom and Jack go into the exam room. Dad and I decide to get a snack. In the cafeteria, we see lots of doctors and nurses on their lunch breaks. Dr. Tate is one of them. I used to think there was only one kind of doctor, I tell Dr. Tate. But there are so many kinds. What kind would you be, Dr. Tate asks. I shrug. Hmm. Well, would you like to meet a few more? She asks. Dr. Tate takes us around the hospital. We meet Dr. Lou, who is a baby doctor. I've always enjoyed working with little ones, Dr. Lou says. Then we meet Dr. Kent. He helps people walk again after an injury. I really get to know the people I treat, 
Dr. Kent says. Some of them I see every day. We see Dr. Lopez, who works in a lab. She did. Oh, this must be Dr. Lopez. See, she's waving. Yep, over here. She does tests to see what is making someone sick. You must like puzzles, I say. Yes, Dr. Lopez says. Our work is like solving mysteries. That would be fun and helpful, wouldn't it? I ask Dr. Tate what she likes about being the emergency room doctor. I get to meet so many people, she says. Every day is different and busy. Oh, here comes somebody else out of the ambulance that needs Dr. Tate's help. Later, we go find Mom and Jack. Jack has on a special boot. He needs to wear it for a few weeks. It will help his bone heal. Jack can even walk with it. He has a little crutch to help him, doesn't he? He is feeling so much better, all thanks to the doctors. Oh, look, it says, meet the doctors. It says, oh, that look, there's a whole list. It says, an emergency room doctor, like Dr. Tate, is a doctor who works in the emergency room of the hospital. A radiologist is a doctor who reads x-rays. An orthopedist is a doctor who helps fix broken bones. A neonatologist is a doctor who helps newborn babies. A physical therapist is a doctor who helps patients do exercises so they can heal and move better after they've hurt themselves. A pathologist is a doctor who does tests in a lab to figure out what is making someone sick. A dentist is a doctor who takes care of teeth. An ophthalmologist is an eye doctor. And a pediatrician is a doctor especially for children. That is cool. Oh, look, we have some dedications over here, guys. The author of the book says this book was written in memory of Dr. Joel Solitiker. That must be a doctor who was special in her life. And the illustrator says, to all the amazing doctors and nurses I know, you give so much of themselves every, who give so much of themselves every day of the year. Your passion and dedication is admirable. Thank you for all that you do. That's nice. The dedication page is a nice way for the author and illustrator to honor people that they admire with their work. Let's see, the copyright date was 2018. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that book. And if you are um, not finished, there are some more choices on the choice board for you. Have a great day.